going on everyone we're over here in indianapolis at the kenworth dealership parts and repair place here looks like we're going to be doing a little bit of maintenance today so uh let's get started and i'll show you guys what's happening yeah so i uh the truck where I purchased the, the truck through, the uh, the leasing company, they give you like a little tiny warranty, you know, within this period if something happens. And uh, so I already had like something go on with the truck. Ain't no big deal, you know. But they, uh, I called them up and let them know, and they were willing to reimburse for the part and and uh, you know pay to get it installed and everything. So I was like, you know, I could do it myself, but hey, if you're gonna pay for it, then yeah so they said they were going to call kenworth indianapolis here set up appointment time and uh you know, get it squared away so i can be in and out of here as i uh i told him it was like i already scheduled to book up you know book the load for tomorrow you know going to the house so you know i ain't got time to be sitting around here so and it's nothing really major this little part so uh but yeah, let's see what we got here. Ooh, got my receipt. Um, I'm not sure if this is the exact name of the, but this is what it says. It says pipe flexible EGR valve T. I don't know, but it's weird. It's like next to the, it's like part of the, it's weird. It's, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll show you where it's at, but, but uh, this is what we're dealing with. So uh, yeah. So it actually, you know, goes onto the engine, and this part goes to the turbo. But uh, I am by no means a mechanic. <laughs> I'm basically like novice level. Um, the uh, on the old one, once I get it off, I'll show you. There was like a little crack right inside here, like on say like this is the way. It's, oh, well, you're looking at it this way. So if you're looking at it, I'm looking at it. You know why it's on the truck it's on the back side and you can't it's like against the far, firewall and you can't see it but there's like a tiny hole inside this little flex thing so i get a little bit closer it's like it's like right in the back i mean it's like i don't know man about the size of a you know like man you probably like the size of your pen man he's like i can't even get the pen in there but it's it's a small small tiny hole and so you know like when you're idling it's fine but when you're driving, you can hear it. It's just it's coming out hard. So, and it's not affected you know, the power of the truck or anything. The truck's running fine. Everything's fine. But it's just it's it's loud, it's freaking loud. And uh, and there's like there's two clamps. There's one clamp here, one clamp here. And uh, yeah, it's I believe it was a uh, I want to say it was like a three eighths wrench and like a screwdriver. And I actually was talking to some of the guys on the uh, on our Zello. Uh, that's trucking and uh just trying to walk me through because i don't know because i first bought a part i thought it may be like the uh there's a uh gasket that goes right here and i bought the gasket hoping that was the problem but once i got this off then i seen it wasn't the gasket so obviously we're gonna take that gasket we're gonna put it on here and we have a new gasket with this new part and there wasn't there's no gasket on this as you can see it kind of you know, you, you, you can't mess it up. You know, it, this one is in this one. This is where the gasket goes around here. So, and, uh, yeah, two clamps, boom, boom. You know, it took me a little bit of while to get it up, but the, uh, cause like the clamps, you know, this part probably never even came off. And, you know, about, uh, about an hour or so of, uh, talking to it <laughs> and some PB blaster came right off. So, uh, but anyway, we are, uh, I get, I get here to get checked in and, uh, apparently the company, not my company, the company I've got the truck through, they didn't set up the appointment. And I told them, I was like, I'm not, I'm not sitting here all day. You know, it's like, you guys are supposed to install this and just check overall, check the truck, make sure we're good to go. And, and I feel confident that the truck is fine but I'm giving them a little bit of time 
And if they're not going to do it, then we're going to change it ourselves. So we'll give them a little bit longer. I don't know how long I've been here. A couple hours, but if they don't give me get a hold of me here a little bit, and we'll show you guys how how we change this EGR flex pipe dealio. <laughs> it's easy, man. It, I am no mechanic, but we're gonna we're gonna change this. All right, there it is. So, so one clamp here, one clamp back there. That's it. So let me uh. Let's go ahead and see if we can loosen this thing up and maybe we can pop this thing out right quick. Alright. See if we can get up inside here. Yeah, this baby's still loose from the other day. Say so already. Pop this thing off once and tried to try to patch her up, but yeah, it didn't work. It didn't work. So uh, let me go ahead and get this thing loosened and we'll be right back. All right. So I got these loosened up. Let's see if you can just kind of pull this to the side. Come on. Oh, maybe I got to loosen it just a little bit more. Thought I had it. Oops. And there. Not a lot of room to play here. All right, there we go. So you may have to get like a little screwdriver or something. Let's see if these will just come right off here. I just had it off a couple days ago. I guess it needs a little bit of work. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can pry these off. Oh, see, there you go, boom, just that easy. Be right back. All right, I got one clamp off here. This one right over here. This one back here. Just give me a little bit of problems. We're almost there. Almost there. Halfway there. Get on there already. Ugh. Oops, sorry. There we go. All right, baby, get on there. There we go. Gotta make sure that thing's on there straight. <laughs> new part I gotta stretch this out a little bit all right got the baby back on you gotta make sure these clamps are on here all the way you can't really see on the back side but you can feel it just got to make sure that these things are on here to try to I mean it may look like it's on but see how these little just gotta fit over that this one here gave me a little bit of a problem we got her on here right. oops sorry <laughs> so let's get this baby tightened down start it up and see where we're at all right just about got her all tightened down Giving it a couple more, a 
couple more tight turns. It's like you want this thing as tight as you can get it without breaking. <laughs> the, breaking the bolt. I think that's good enough for that one. Let's see about this one here. Yeah, a couple more turns. Yeah, these uh, these clamps it gets so hot, they basically like seize together. So I end up having to get like the hammer out, screwdriver, just pop it loose. Actually, one of the guys from the Zillow channel that's trucking actually told me about that. He's like, just just kind of give it a couple little taps, and sure enough, man, a couple little taps, and that baby popped right off. Ten millimeter wrench, flathead screwdriver, and a hammer. You're good to go. Almost got her. We'll go and start the truck up. Come out here, listen for any leaks, and we'll be good to go. All right, I think we're done. Let's go start the truck. see where the light going through <laughs> you see like all that black soot that was spraying up that patch job didn't work so good did it oh well yeah that's how we do it people do it yourself because you know if you were to take this thing up to uh here i'm well, actually at the kenworth right now Oh, dang, look what I did. <laughs> like, banged it up some more. But, uh, take this baby up to Kenworth, and I've, uh, I've been doing this owner-operator thing for a while. And I found out that, uh, whatever the part costs, it's going to be, like, double labor. So, so I know this thing going to cost freaking $1,000 of labor, man. It took me all of 40 minutes. I can say the first time I took it off, it took me a couple hours, but if you can do it, do it yourself. Uh, from Indianapolis, talk to you guys later.